What is up guys, I hope you're all doing well today, and welcome back to another Awaken video. So I got really lucky during this last boosted summon event that was going on, and on my very last summoning shard that I was able to scrounge together being a free-to-play account, I got the new guy. Uh, Bachelard, Bac Bacalard, I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to pronounce that, it's a pretty odd name, but this guy is awesome. He does nuts damage, he's really good in a couple areas, He's even been topping Hector in my armored incursion runs, and uh, he's been super cool. So we're going to go ahead and look over his kit, and then talk a little bit about the areas I've been using him. Alright, so we'll start with the abilities here. So we have his trait, damage reduction up 100% when taking counterattack damage on this character's turn. Also grants damage up for one turn, or damage up two if you've ascended him to rank five. So what basically what this does is, if you hit something that counterattacks, he damage reductions it by 100%, so I believe it basically just means he doesn't take damage. I haven't seen it really like pop up or say anything was going on when using him, but I've been using him in the Red Armored Incursion, which does kind of counter-attacking damage, and he doesn't seem to get destroyed by it as much as, say, Hector does, so I believe it just negates damage, unless there's some other effect going on with it that ignores things or whatnot, so it seems you just block counter-attacks, which is pretty cool. Not the biggest deal for a damage dealer, but it is definitely helpful. It might also be helpful in the Roaring Tulpa with the uh, the rock throw that he can do, so I'll have to test him out there a little further and see if I can get it to proc on him and kind of see what happens with that. But And then you also get the damage up, which is pretty nice. So you can hit someone, they counterattack, you block it, and you get a damage up. So kind of situational, but it's definitely a cool trait, very helpful. And then we have his basic, deals 70% damage to an enemy and applies Ignite for two turns. Ignites are the uh, debuff, almost like a bleed or a poison that deals damage based on the caster's attack, which is pretty nice to have if the enemy is affected by a negative effect already. So if they have a debuff already, he launches another attack with the basic. So he will do this twice, especially in, say, boss fights where you always have debuffs on the enemy. He'll go twice, and it's super cool. It ends up being pretty good damage. A lot of extra ignites, so he has a lot of damage over time while also having a very strong kit for dealing damage. And then his special, or his two, deals 120% damage to an enemy and applies defense down for two turns. If they are already affected by a debuff, deals 30% extra damage and applies defense down too, which is a, the regular defense down is negative 30 to defense. Defense down two, as you can see, is a negative 50% defense, which makes a huge difference in the boss fights especially in the later dungeons, and it helps a lot in the Armored Incursion. I was doing a little testing between using him and uh, Orak, who has a regular defense down on his A1, and the extra 20% defense decrease on Armored Incursion makes a huge difference in damage. I don't know what the exact numbers would be, because I don't know what the Armored Incursion stats are, but it makes a big difference. I want to say on Hector's ult, I got probably 2,000 more damage, while having defense down two over having the basic defense down. So it adds up a lot. I think Armored Incursion has a lot of defense, so having the defenses down is a big help and gets you a lot of extra damage. So this skill works really well, especially there, or on, say, Roaring Tulpa, because you just almost always keep this heavy defense down going on him, and if you have him going earlier in your rotation, you can get a lot of extra damage out of the other teammates. So instead of just being a high damage dealing character, he also helps set you up for your other characters to do a lot of damage as well. So it's not just uh, all of his buffs, debuffs, and whatnot don't just benefit him. They set up your whole team for more damage, which is really cool. And then his ult, Fire Strike, deals 40% damage to an enemy, and then an additional 140% damage to an enemy. Each attack inflicts Ignite on the target for two turns, launches an additional Lightning Throw combo attack per negative effect on the target, maximum of four. And then I do believe that that attack is this, 140% damage to an enemy and applies Ignite. So what this will do is if you, say, fighting Armored Incursion, and you're setting up a bunch of debuffs on the target, you're fighting, you go to use your ult, he'll do this attack, you know, get the 40% damage, the 140% damage, two Ignites, and then he'll go up to four of these, which is a nutty percentage amount of damage. It's a very, very hard-hitting ult, and I don't even have the most incredible stats on him right now, and he is pretty much equaling Hector ults, 
uh, Orac ults. I want to say he's even doing almost as much, if not slightly more damage than my Savannah, who does a ridiculous amount of damage. So this is a very, very strong ult. And that's not to mention that you also place up to, let's see, this also ignites, so you would have four or five, up to six ignites placed on the target at one time, which racks up a good extra couple thousand damage. So this is a very strong ult. I really like this ult. It's very helpful, and even with somewhat mediocre stats, you can get some really good damage out of him. I've only worked on him for probably a little bit over this last week. I did get his abilities maxed, and most of his glyphs done, and I have okay gear on him, and as I said earlier, he's already matching and slightly exceeding Hector, who is one of my better damage dealers for Armored Incursion. So, I think he's really nuts. I can't wait to see what a completely maximized version of him looks like, and I'm slowly working towards it, but I have a pretty good baseline in what he does and how what good he is, hence doing the video on this today. So, that is his kit. So next we'll look over my stats here. So I've got 3,600 attack. Not bad. It's not the highest I have on any characters, but it is decent. I have just shy of 10,000 health, which is a little low. Once I finish upgrading, I'll probably have that at 10, 11,000, give or take a little bit. About 1,000 defense, which is okay. 113 speed. He's not very fast, but as long as he goes before my other damage dealers in the dungeons and armored incursion I don't really care what his speeds at because he's definitely not an arena champion at least I don't see him as one I'm sure he could be used there But not having aoe's I don't really think it's a specialty and then I managed to get 90.5 percent crit chance which It's a little low. I uh Somehow that 10% lands a lot more often than I would like it, but I'm just very unlucky with these, so I'd really like to get this to 95, if not just 100%, but uh, I've got a few gear pieces I'll have to change out to get there, but for now, it works just fine. And then only 171 crit damage, so I don't even have a whole lot of crit damage, and I'll show you when we look over the gear sets. Most of that is just because I'm having to use a crit rate ring right now. Once I'm able to get a crit damage ring with crit rate substat, these will be uh, quite a bit nicer. 28% focus, because unlike a lot of damage dealers, he does have a fair amount of debuffs for damage and for getting the defense down, so I would recommend making sure you at least have a little bit of focus so that in the armored incursion he's not resisting all of your ignites and your defense down. And then uh, 12 or 19% resistance, a little agility, some precision. Not too big a deal. So as you can see, he's built okay. He's not, I don't have nutty stats. This is an absolutely minimaxed gear. This is just decent and he's doing great. So going over the gear, I have two pieces of 15. One is only the four star. This is that crit rate ring I was talking about. Tiny bit of attack percentage, speed, some nasty rolls on flat defense and resistance, which I don't care about. Basically this is here because I need the extra crit rate right now. As soon as I can get a better ring, his stats will jump substantially. I have a decent attack weapon with a 15% crit rate, 12% attack, some health, and some precision. And I managed to get the cursed set, which is really good on him because he has a lot of multi-hit attacks. There's a lot of chances for him to get the extra hits in and having the ignites along with decent damage. I think the cursed set is probably the way to go on him. A bunch of attack sets for more damage is of course really good, but Personally, I do think the curse set is the way to go on him just because of all the extra damage you can deal over the course of a fight with it. And then sadly, I do have to have the other one as a broken set because this ring was one of the best ones I had that wasn't already on someone I needed it. And so I've got a 43% attack right now, only at plus 13. Decent crit rate at 15%, two rolls, a little speed, some flat attack, and then some focus. So this necklace was very good. For him right now it'll be even better once i get it to plus 15 but very good necklace made a big difference in stats and sadly i had to give up having the uh, attack boost for it but overall it's pretty good gear it's decent nothing absolutely nutty not as much crit damage as i'd like but it's a decent set and he's doing his job as you can see i've mostly got his glyphs filled out the only thing we're missing is a little focus little health and resist, and then a little speed and resist. So attack-wise, I've got that filled out on his glyphs, and then his abilities are maxed. And that is pretty much it for going over his kit and gear. So the main place I've been using him and testing him so far is in the Armored Incursion. Being a mostly red damage dealers, I don't have the uh, elemental advantage, 
so it's not an incredible run, only sitting at 183,000, which is decent, and that's running two supports, and then just Hector and the new guy at once. So all of basically all of that damage is split between these two, and they almost tied. On my last two runs, I want to say the new guy hit for 10 to 15,000 in total more, so he's already basically tying and slightly exceeding Hector. So he's doing really, really well there. And his kit works so good here. The extra ignites for more damage, the defense down, making him go before, well, in this case, only before Hector, because I only have him as another damage dealer, but normally I run three damage dealers and one support, but I was trying it with Brand as an extra attack up and defense and shield for the characters. But having him go early in the rotation, getting those debuffs, getting that defense down, doing some decent damage, rotating through every turn, He's so good. He's been doing so much damage. I really like this guy, and I think once I get back around to the green armored incursion, I'm feeling like I'm probably going to be hitting substantially higher than I ever have before, and green is already the one I tend to clobber the most, because he's pretty much going to be a direct swap out for Orac, who is very good, but I think this guy can do even more. So I'm really excited to see when green armored incursion comes back. I really want to see what damage I can get out of it. I think it's going to be a lot, and I think it's going to be great. Very happy to have him, and I think he's going to do a really good job there. I'm really loving him in Armored Incursion, which is one of my favorite parts in the game, and he's been an awesome addition to my team. I've also been using him in the new Dawn Guard event, fighting that boss, and he's been doing really well there. The, again, the elemental advantage isn't there, being the light character, and him being a red, but he's still been doing great. And then in the Arcane Dominator, I used him to run a few Roaring Tulpa runs, and he is so good here as well, guys. He has the Ignites to make sure you're getting consistent damage output and whittling down the, both the minions and the boss. He's got the big hit on his ult to help you clear the uh, shield that pops up at half health and then several turns after that. He is so good here. He directly replaced Orac here. And he has been awesome. He does so much damage, and he's made Roaring Tulpa substantially easier for me. So he's super good here. And then, again, per usual, not that they're particularly hard, but he's made my Bane Wraith runs even faster because, again, multiple hits, multiple hit abilities. He takes down a lot of those little damage reduction stacks really easily. So good here, guys. I can't stress this enough. This guy is awesome. I think he is super cool. If you have him, I 100% recommend you build him and get a really strong red team going because he is doing so much work for me, and I've only, you know, mostly got him built. There's still more that can be achieved, but he is great. I really like him. I'm very excited to have gotten him. I feel very lucky to have gotten him on my last poll. I did finally hit pity during it, which finally gave me a legendary, and it happened to be him, and I could not be happier. But he is very cool. He's a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you were lucky enough to pull this guy too or pull him in the near future. And until next time, guys, bye.